Hey, hi guys, this is Bakka Pachin Chalikar. In this tutorial, I'll talk about how to scroll into element and click on it in mobile device. So first I'll discuss the scenario which we are going to automate. So let me open the mobile emulator. So just I'll click on this particular API demos API, sorry, API demos in this APK. So I launch this API then I will click on this weaves last option. Then if you look at in this screen, right, we are having multiple elements. So I'll be scrolling down till end of the element that is so I'll be clicking on the web weave. So after clicking on the web weave, so this particular text will, will be visible, then we'll be closing the this particular app. So this will be our goal. So in the second screen, so this particular screen contains a number of elements. So within this, so we have to scroll into the particular element and we have to click on that particular element. So just I'll cl close this particular app. So next point I have is, uh, this is a app activity and the app package I'm having. So this is the value I'm having. So if you don't know how to get the app package and the app activity, so you need to go to the, go to the my channel and you need to watch this particular tutorial. Then start implement, let's start our implementing our code. So simply I will open the Eclipse ID. So what I will do is in the test script package. So that is a com dot test automation dot test scripts in this I will create the one class within that I'll create the one test ng test. So here I'm simply specifying the class name as scroll in mobile. So that's it. I'll click on finish button. So that's it guys. So, so this is our first two steps we have completed. So first we have discussed the scenario, then this is my app package and app activity. So third step we are doing it, we are, we are implementing the code. So what you need to do is go to the my channel and here the last tutorial I have shown how to automate the mobile native apps. So click on this particular tutorial that is a uh, APM plus Cookimber plus Selenium plus TestNG. Simply I'll pass this for, I don't want to see this currently. So in the description, in the description, if you look at the code, so here I have specified all the code which I have discussed in the previous tutorial. So simple, simply I will copy the try catch block here. Just I'll copy the try and catch block. So that's it. I'll go to the Eclipse. Here I'm simply creating the one test method. So just I'll surround this particular method with the at the rate test. Then you import the related packages that is coming from the test ng dot annotations. Then simply paste that code. So that's it. So here also import the related packages. Simply I'm uh, declaring the driver before using that particular way, reference variable. Then I'll import the time unit dot seconds. So that's it. So 
what I will do is just I'll copy this particular value that is app package. So simply I'll remove the previous app package. So in the similar way, I will specify the app activity value. So that's it guys. So this particular lines of code, it will launch me the, this particular app that is API demos. So next what we have to do. So we have to open this after launching this particular API. We have to click on this views. For clicking on this particular views, we have to inspect this particular element by using the UI Automator Weaver. So let me open the UI Automator Weaver. So simply I will click on this particular option. Then it will take the screenshot of it. Then we should be able to see the no details. So in our case, we have to click on the views. So if you look at the right side, no details, you can see all the details like index, text, resource ID and class and package and uh, multiple attribute and the values are exist. So what I will do is I'll use the XPath and I'll write one XPath in such a way that so it will find this particular element and it will click on this views option. So in, in my case, I'm referring to this particular row that is a text is equal to waves. So simply I'll copy this particular value and you can remember this particular attribute name that is a text is equal to waves we have value. So what I will do is in my case, I'll use a driver object dot find element. Just a second guys, so my system is quite slow. Find element by X path. So in this, we have to specify the string. So here I'm just specifying the two double slash forward slash then i'll specify the star so that that can be you can specify the directly class name or the any tag name so in our case i'm using the contains keyword so within that at the rate we had the This is the attribute and this is the value we are having text is equal to waves. So here I'm specifying the text at the red text comma in the single quotation I'm specifying the value. So that's it guys. So simply I'll click on this. So we are identifying this particular web element, sorry, web element, uh, mobile element by using the X path. So we are using the contains. So here, this is the attribute name that is a text and this is a value we are having that is a views. So that's it. After identifying this particular web element, then we are performing the click operation. So that's it. So before moving on to the next step, so, so this particular Android driver, I will specify the one generic type of type is mobile element type in the same way just you can import the related packages simply i'll copy and paste it for the driver object also So you can import the URL as well here if you missed it. So that's about the one task.
So we are done with one task. That is uh, first we have create we we are able to click on this particular waves. So after clicking on this, we have to scroll into this particular web view option. Then we have to click on this particular web view option. So for that reason, what I will do is simply I'll copy this particular particular lines of code and I'll paste it here. Just a second, guys. So, just I'll so that's it, guys. So, what I did is so this is a just I have used the driver object after that find element by Android UI automator. Then, these are all inbuilt classes I have used. So, only one thing you need to pass here is that is the value so this is a particular text you need to pass to this particular method that is a text contains so this particular value we are having in the mobile element that is a web view so that's the reason i have specified the web view here after that simply i have called to the one method called text so this particular line will find the element that is web view and it will perform the click operation so that click operation i have specified at the end so first it is identifying the text then it is performing the click operation so after performing the click uh, click operation so i will put some thread dot sleep so that we can see the execution properly so let me specify the 5000 as a thread dot sleep. Then after that, simply I will close the driver object by calling to the driver dot quit method. So that's all about the implementation part. So first we have just simply copied this desired capabilities and we have entered the app package and app activity. Then we have created the object of android driver after that we have identified the views element after that we have performed the click operation after clicking on the particular views option then we are finding the web views option then we are performing the click operation so at last we are waiting for five seconds then we are closing the android native app so that's all about the implementation part so let us execute this particular program so simply i will right click on this particular test one then i will say run as test ng test so before that let me close this particular app So whenever it is started running, so you should be able to see the all the logs in the APM server. That means it is running properly. If you are not able to see any logs in the APM server, then you are missing something. So if you look at here, it is started generating the logs. So if you look at here. In the right side of the mobile emulator it is simply scrolling down until it finds the specified text and it will click on the web view then it is displayed the hello world then it wait for the five seconds and then simply it closes the android native app so if you look at the results also here so total test run is one then there are zero failures and zero skips so that's all about 
in this tutorial, so we have discussed how to scroll into element and click on it in mobile device. So if you have, if you have any queries, you can comment in the comment section. So if you like this tutorial, please click on like and share with your friends and colleagues. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial.